up, you guys, and welcome to Food Trip. You're hanging out with me here, Joy Spring, and of course, you're about to do something very special for the adorable kiddos in our lives. Now, I don't have kids yet, but I'm very close to my nieces and my nephews. But today, we have somebody here who is a writer, a traveler, and a super mom. Ladies and gents, please help me welcome Miss Stephanie Zubiri Crespi. Hi, Joy. Thanks Hello. for having me here. Work. I'm I'm in get with your kitchen studio. It's I so know. nice. This is what we always, you know, tell our guests. You can just come here, make food for us, and give <laughs> us your awesome recipes, and we'll let you use the kitchen for Fantastic. free. Fantastic. So, so tell me more about the book that you have. You've recently released it. It's called Feast with Me. Yes. What gave you the idea to really transition? I guess the blog, it, you know, transition that into a book. Feast with Me is actually centered around global home cooking. Okay. And then each chapter. Chapter has yeah menu that goes with the cuisine of that country and then how to set the table, mm -hmm. what wines to pair, and then all the recipes. And today we get a little bit of a glimpse on the mommy side of this book, <laughs> where we make great sandwiches for our little kids at home. So yes. tell me more about what we'll be making for today. So today we're gonna make pesto cheese stars, okay? Because awesome. I think kids like it when anything's in a fun shape, mm -hmm. right? If I'm doing this for myself, I like to add a swipe of mustard, but it tends to be too strong for the kids. Mm -hmm. So you can make your own pesto or just buy any of your favorite bottled. So now we just cook for fun. Which yeah, is we even have to cook for fun. Better, okay? So really simple, it depends on how cheesy you want to make it, but okay. I think that's more than enough. Just a little bit of oil. If you have a non-stick pan, you can avoid, but I kind of like the golden effect that mm. olive oil has. What I really like about this is that pesto is a really good way to introduce them to new flavors, mm -hmm. right? And I think kids immediately take a liking to it mm -hmm. because it's got a bit of that Parmesan cheese, yeah. it's kind of savory. So it's a really good first herb to introduce to, to kids. I have these pita, pita bread, and to make these pita chips, okay? Pita chips. Yeah, and Can they're really, yes. So this have no salt. For my kids, they try to do no salt just so that they get mm. used to like not too salty. So we try to make our own junk food at home, and my kids really, really love this. Because and it's just pita. Yeah, and then you can flavor it. So while we're waiting for this to grill, so what we're gonna do is just can just make little carrot sticks. And the nice thing about carrots is they stay fresh and crunchy for a long time. They don't wilt. And this is great for you too, you know, like when you're on the go. Yeah. Whenever I get hungry, I pull out like hummus that I made. So you there. also make your own hummus. So for those who don't know, what exactly is hummus? Okay, so, so this is made of um, frozen green peas instead of uh, chickpeas. Chickpeas, okay. And then we don't put any more the tahini. So we're taking this out already. Yeah, we're just taking it out. Cool. I think this is done. So um, kids like fun shapes. So we are just gonna. You can take any cookie cutter you want. So you could do like different, basically star shapes. Okay, with any cookie cutter. And the good thing is, like any kid, you know, and you can do different sizes. So you really maximize. I love this thing because it's got different sizes. So you can really maximize. Yeah. All of the space there. All of the spaces, and you got really cute ones. And okay. how do we usually prepare um, uh, the sandwiches that we have with everything that you've prepared okay. for us? We have, Glad has these really great colored bags of food. Yeah, making things interesting for nice. kids, right? These are sandwich bags, and they and come they have with stickers. stickers. Yeah. And you can write on them, so you can make like really cute designs. And notes for your kids, Correct. yeah. So. Basically, you would just put the stars in there. Oh my gosh, imagine. Yeah, so their bag comes in a colorful bag with stickers, and then when they open it, it's just yeah. with cute sandwich stars. So you can put like the stars in there. And let's see, is there anything that... So stars, stars. stars for stars, right? Stars yeah. for stars. And it's a great... There. It's already cute, right? So that's one of the products that I really, really like. Mm -hmm. I'm glad. The other option is these colored sandwich bags as well. Okay. Super cute. Oh, as I well. have these. Yeah, yeah, so these are the regular snap lock bags, mm. and they, they are, you don't need the sticker, although I find the sticker really, really <laughs> cute. But it's nice because you can actually see what you're eating as well. It's easy to pull out. It comes out. in different colors, and yeah, I like how it's yeah, so green. Sealed. You have. Pink, you know, you have the blue. It's super nice. So I'll just take these out. I'll make the second 
Gotcha. So you can see it's super cute, right? Nice. And then easy. So we'll put that there, different options. And then of course you can put your pita crisps, right? Then you have these. There you go. And for this, I always like to keep a little bit of air uh -huh. inside so they don't get squashed, right? So they don't get cracked. Okay, actually, among all the products, so I really love this because it's so nice and colorful, uh -huh. but this is the most useful. So it's just, it's the clear color, right? So this is really great because you have these mini ones. Oh, that's cute. Yes, super, super. Okay, so what I, I like to make my own like snack mix. So you can actually buy these pretzels without salt. Mm -hmm. And then I mix it with like raisins, mm -hmm. you know, so they like sweet and kind Little of dried salty. Fruits, yeah. yeah, dried fruit. This is like the perfect size for little snacks, right? So mix everything together. Yeah, nice. look, it's so small. Okay, so then it becomes like a really easy way to pack even your your dips and sauces and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Or they have a bunch of different things. Like, we all know them actually the most for cling wrap. Yeah. Right? But I like the small size. And then, of course, we know foil is always great, but this is such a good product. So this is their press and seal, what is and that? even liquids, like it doesn't spill. spill. It's a yeah. nice holistic button for all of the kitties out there. Yeah. Very, very easy to make. Can we find this recipe in your blog? blog? So the pita crisps are in the blog. You have also the um, green pea hummus in the blog. So it's all there. Awesome. So we have um, the recipes on her blog. It's stephaniesbeauty.com for all of you guys. And also, if you would like to check out the book, it's called Feast, Feast with, with Me. Me. Feast with Me. So available in National Bookstore. And I'm actually working on the second book, which would be Little, hey. little Feast for Kids. <laughs> this time, cooking for kids. Awesome. So, yes. So Great. ready to go. Thank you very much, Stephanie, Thank for you, being Joyce. with us here in the kitchen Thank today. You. Thank you, everybody.